everyone welcome back to my channel so guys today's demonstration we will learn about how you can uh, install the web methods integration free trial download version like 10.15 version from google browser and uh, once uh, download complete we will also see how you can install the integration server universal messaging uh, designer adapter on your local or yeah, on your server machine so guys very first uh, you require this link okay so this link i'll also give in description box you can uh, take it from there okay so once uh, i'll show you how you can download the particular free trial version okay so let me go into the integration server page so that i'll show you okay wait a minute so i just copy this link on a google browser okay so once i like copy this link on the browser then the page will open let me show you wait a while okay so the link is there in description you can take it from there and uh, after this uh, you will get this page like web method integration free trial download so you need to click on this download free trial option okay so once you click on the free trial download option then you will get this page here you need to mention your first name last name email address country company name phone number job title you can mention as a developer admin support and uh, also you can select this i agree license agreement option and i opt into hearing from a software ag you can select those checkbox and you can submit it okay so once you submit this form you will get one uh, notification on your mail id those mail id you can mention here so you, you can uh, log in your mail id you will receive an activation link so activate this link uh, the link which you receive from a software ag so on the activation done okay like once you mention all the things this one let me open this slide like email id username first name last name password company and then uh, here you need to select the india uh, like whatever company uh, like country you have and uh, terms of service you can use this checkbox click on this checkbox and create your account also once you receive the activation link once you active this link then again you can come to your browser and uh, log in with your uh, credential like username yeah email id you can mention and password okay and once you log in this uh, particular site then you will get uh, like the page will open thank you for downloading web method integration okay over there uh, there are download your free trial there are options for a windows machine and a linux so let's suppose if you have a windows machine then you need to install the windows installer you need to download the first windows installer then windows archive 64 bit this is a image zip file and also license key and if you have a linux operating system then for the same linux installer linux archive 64 bit zip file and license key license key same for both uh, operating system okay so once you download done then you can start your installation so i already downloaded the free trial version on my local so i just start the installation how you can uh, install the integration server universal messaging and adapter and also uh, designer okay so let's start the demo guys how you can install the those uh, four products okay so i just start the demonstration here uh, i downloaded the software ag installer 64 bit okay so right click and run as a administrator click on x click on s and once the page will open uh, let me show you okay here you can see you can maximize this uh, particular page here you can see the advanced option just click this particular option here you can see script images catching logging and server so here we required images option now is the checkbox is there just click on this checkbox and here you can see 
create a image and install from image so we already download the image like 64 bit zip as i said now this image you need to browse so i just browse this image from desktop so i already save it on the desktop so let me open first give me some time okay see installation setup is there and i also have a zip file 64 bit zip file so i'll select it and here guys you can uh, validate image option is there so just click double click like uh, double click on this particular option then it will take some time to validate the particular image okay so i think uh, something error is coming i'll again start the uh, installation go to advanced option images install uh, this select this checkbox browse the zip file first Okay. then select and uh, as i said you can validate the image once you validate complete then click on ok and next okay see guys installation directory you can install as well cd e drive so i want to install this c, uh, c colon software ag this is a uh, by default option so i just change it by test and uh, this start menu group name i'll change it as a test okay you can give the user defined name this is the instance name only once you click on next here you can see the products okay so here as i said we uh, need to install the in this demonstration we will see how you can install the uh, integration server designer adapter and user messaging okay so very first i'll uh, select the designer eclipse 4.19 and uh, once you select then you can minimize it after that i required integration server 10.11 okay uh, once you select this option automatically it will selected because this is a dependent element then minimize it after that we need to install the universal messaging all components just click on that so that all the components get selected broker your 2em migrated unity 10.11 select all the elements and minimize it in adapter there are three types of adapter jdbc sap and this is a new one okay so i have a jdbc uh, like i required web method adapter 10.3 for jdbc so i just select it okay once you select uh, those parameter yeah those product then click on next so you can see the list so whatever element you require the list you can see in front of you so let's say you don't require anything from there though you can unselect if you required anything then you can go back and select okay then click on next here you can uh, set the administrator password as a manage and confirm password as a manage see here option is there checkbox is there if you want to change the password after first login you can use this checkbox if you don't want if you want to keep the same password like manage then don't select the checkbox then click on next here integration server license file be required so just browse it license we already downloaded license key okay so go the installation setup here you can see the uh, integration server license keys okay universal messaging sorry uh, we required it integration server 100.xml this is a license file for integration server so just select it 
and uh, this port i already used so i just check uh, change it secure port double five four three i already uh, used for another instance so i'll uh, like enter the double five double four here double five double five already in use so i just uh, use as a double five five six and uh, diagnostic port double nine nine eight okay so that's all about the uh, port details and here the option is available register windows service unix uh, demo for automatic startup if you want to start the integration server via services option let me show you so once you click like once you enter the services here here you can see the services option okay and here just click on name and uh, enter server okay so here you can see the server details okay here you can see the all instances whatever instances i created uh, it's showing here and with the once you select it you can start restart and stop from services so the purpose is that this checkbox once you select it then the option you can see in services okay so just select this checkbox and click on next here guys the two option is available if you have a database then go with external rdbms and if you don't have then go with the embedded database so i have database details so i just click on sql server here url uh, likewise let's say you have oracle okay oracle database you can copy this url paste it here and change your uh, details i have a sql server so i just copy this url from this and uh, paste it here and change the details database name equal to employee i already created in uh, this database uh, in my ui okay jdbc colon wm colon sql server colon double slash server you can mention as a local host Port for uh, SQL Server is 1433 and database name as I already mentioned is equal to employee. Connection name, this is user defined, you can give any name. So I just mentioned connection. Database user, this is a, uh, once you log in your SQL Server, yeah, at, at time SQL authentication over there, you can mention those credentials you need to enter here. Okay. So I just mention my password and click on next. Here you can keep the same things, no problem. Here common uh, directory service support. Here I'll select the database as a SQL server. And I already set the particular URL. So I just copy from here. You can take it this URL from here. Okay give the connection name as a connection and uh, user be required and password be required then click on next so here guys we need to select the universal messaging the purpose is new installation and side by side installation for upgrade so i need the new installation so i just click on this particular option and license file i need to browse so go to your uh, where you save this particular license so you can see here universal messaging integration 105.xml so just click and select okay this part is finished now here uh, nhp interface port 9000 so 9000 i already use so i will just change by 9001 um server no problem data directory you can keep as it is and configuration as it is no problem and uh, as i said in services if you require this option then please select this tick box then click on next so guys here you can see those element you selected those product you selected here you can see all the element list you can scroll up and scroll down and check all the elements also updates are there you can check from here okay 
which updates broker leverage 10.164 bundles and everything okay so those details uh, if you have empower access you can check it from there as well and once i click on the install button the installation will happen it will take some time and once installation done then in installation directory the option is there like uh, as i mentioned the name uh, software regi test so over there i'll just select this option integration server instances default bin and startup the server will start otherwise you can see here in services option you can instance will create and you can start the integration server and uh, once you done with everything then go to on browser localhost colon 5556 and once you log in you can see the installation i will get uh, like you can see the admin page over there you can see all the details on your integration server so guys that's all about today's demonstration uh, guys if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have query any concern then please do let me know in a comment section and till the time uh, stay happy stay connected and have a great day have a fun